Maybe a good story in issue two for like new breweries and distilleries and things. Obituaries for the local newspaper industry don't tell the whole story. That's the view at the Peckham Peculiar, a new so-called hyper-local paper for a small pocket of South East London. I'm all for reading about stories online, but I do think there's something special and tangible about having a newspaper in your hand. I think it's really? much smaller little shops that would really struggle. So there's so much going on. I've got a proposed development uh, for the surrounding area at Peckham Eye Station, and uh, that's not in you know, the immediate spotlight, but it is something that's really important to Peckham. It's all about their location, yeah, and that is, that is deeply worrying, I think. The paper will be free, sustained, it's hoped, by local advertisers such as Lou Smith. His company produces everything from mugs to hot pants, and he's bought ad space. I think it's more effective per capita of people who look at it. I think people's attention span for anything on the internet is so sh short now that they're, they're less likely to pick up on things. Since 2005, more than 250 local papers are thought to have closed, around 20% of the total. Advertising has moved online. Many believe bigger organisations, including the BBC, make the battle for a local readership too tough. But although 20 local papers closed last year alone, 12 new titles were launched. Focus on a small area and demand, it would seem, is there. What you are finding popping up all over the country is small businesses, very, very focused on a local community. They are drawing a certain amount of audience, but for publishers, commercial publishers trying to run local, uh, local services, it is a much harder challenge because in reality they have to look at larger geographic kind of spaces than that. Just like his company, Sir Ray Tyndall is a survivor. He's battled throat cancer, his local paper business has thrived whilst others have folded. He owns more than 200 titles covering Wales, the West and South East of England. They are getting more and more local and there is no doubt whatever that that is what the reader wants. Some people believe that it's the regional titles who are going to really suffer in the future. Do you think that's the case? People want to read about that immediate neighbours in their immediate area. They don't really want to read about an area that they don't know. Many remain convinced the local newspaper industry is destined for the scrap heap. But stop press. Others believe the oldest form of media does have a healthy future. Just don't think big. Think small. Tim Muffet, BBC News.